Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, if you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you know when we come out with another video, right baby? Okay, and go follow both of us on our social media is down below. So it's been a minute since I've done a video with my baby here on YouTube. So I was like, why not pick up the camera since I'm about to redo your hair anyway while well, this one braid and show you guys show you guys this protective hairstyle that she is going to be using. So um, basically what I did was I parted her entire head. Um, into you guys call them box braids, I call them block braids. Um, but as you guys can see, sit down, her hair is parted. Um, for the front, you kind of just want to make this curved part here, like curve from around your child's head, like just like so. Um, so that you can get this braid effect here. Don't do that. So, you can get these two braids here. Um, and then the back I put in block braids, so I'm going to show you guys what I did. Um, so I parted it, freezed it, did all that good stuff. And um, so I'm taking her hair, her regular hair, and I'm going to braid it. So, like so, I'll just braid it. Now, my braids are never that tight because I am... Yes. In a minute. I am heavy handed. So I try to um braid as you know as soft as possible. Um if your baby's hair is really like loose loose like mine is, um, I'll show you guys what I mean by loose loose. You see how I can't catch her hair to braid it all the way towards the bottom? I kinda just leave it out. Um, at the bottom, and I'm going to show you guys how you hide the braid and all that. So, I have the hair. Stop, baby girl. So, this is the braiding hair right here. Um, this is pre-crochet May D, May Day. Um, I don't really know how to say it. Um, Mayday Beauty Hair. So it comes pre-crochet. You guys just need to get one of these hooks that she's playing with to get it in. But once you guys hold it, once you guys get that braid in, as long as it started, like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to hide it. Um, the next thing you do is you want to take your crochet hook. Sorry, baby. Mwah. Open your crochet hook and hook it underneath the braid. So go under the braid. Don't go like through it. Go under it. So you go into the braid. The braid that you've already done. And then I'm going to take the hair. And because it's already pre-crocheted. Don't take that out. And because it's already pre-crocheted. What? I'm almost done, okay? Now that it's already pre-crocheted, I'm just going to hook this onto the hook. And close the hook and then pull it through. A lot of people might think that this is too much for a baby. But this stays in for about a month or two if she doesn't start the scratching of her head. So the next thing you want to do is just hook this part, the other end onto the crochet hook. And then close it. All right? And pull it through. Once you pull it through, kind of turn it the way that you want it to be. And then I know you guys are kind of wondering what I do Mommy. to, yes, hold it, to get this braid to stay in. So I'm going to crochet her regular hair into this hair. So I'm going to take the crochet hook through the braid. Hook her regular hair braid and just pull it through. Stop, baby. I'm almost done, okay? And then I'm just going to keep doing that until you can no longer see the hair. Now, Vanessa's hair is light brown, 
but the hair that I got is dark black. Because I already had this hair just laying around the house um, from when I got my hair done with it. So, it just works perfectly. Um, you can't see her hair because I'm hooking it from the um, other way. So, um, now I'm going to show you guys what the braid looks like. See, you can't see her natural hair because it's hooked into the crochet braid. So the next thing I'm going to do is all this stuff in a ponytail back here. So I'm just going to throw it into a ponytail. Baby, baby. Okay, that's done. And then I'm just, you could choose to put beads on the end. Um, when I bought this hair, it was too long. So I did burn it. So my daughter sits still when she's getting her hair done. Except right now because she sees I'm recording. Um, so it's very easy for me to burn it. If you, hey, if you take it apart, then, um, there's a chance the hair could unravel, but if you burn it, it won't, and it'll just come off. I know my fingernails are dirty, my son with Vanessa. So you can basically, once you get this protective doll style done, style it any way you want. You can put it in a ponytail and put beads on the end and let your kid walk around. Um, but I choose to wrap it in a bun like mine is, just so she looks a little cute and it's a little different. So I'm just going to wrap this in a bun. And then I did, because I did burn it, and at that time when I was burning it, my daughter wasn't sitting still. Um, some of her pieces of hair are longer than the others. So if you get that, you could always, after you get the bun in, if you do a bun, um, which that bun does not look right. So after you get the bun in, you could always take the hair, I'm going to show you on mine, and tuck it underneath the bun, like I do mine, just tuck it under. So I have some bobby pins, you could bobby pin it up. Um, you could do really anything with this hairstyle. You can make it into a few different... Mommy. What? She got the thing stuck in her pants. Why would you do that? Okay. Sorry about that. And bun. It is. So I'm going to. I'm really just going to wrap this into any kind of bun. Please sit back. Ain't that how you just got them in there? So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to, I'm really just going to make any kind of bun for this video really quick. Um, after I've got that bun in, I'll just take the, the hairs, turn your head, the hairs that's longer than the other ones like I showed you guys on me and tuck it underneath her bun or in between the braids. And that is baby girl's protective hairstyle. Um, a lot of people might think you shouldn't do this on a two-year-old because it's long. You can make it as long, as short as you want. Um, this braid back here won't stay down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bobby pin here that I have. And I'm just going to hook it on that one braid that won't stay down. And I'm going to bobby pin back to her, her head. You do want to watch out for your baby scalp if you're using bobby pins because it could hurt them. But this is her protective hairstyle. And um, you guys can do it on any age. Two-year-old, a 10-year-old, a 12-year-old. Um, and like I said, it's been a minute since I've done a video with my baby. So, I just wanted to show you guys a, a protective hairstyle that I found on her, found for her on YouTube, made it my own little style for her for school. Stop. She doesn't listen. She's very bad. She hit terrible twos when she was one. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you know when I come out with another video. Make sure you follow both of us on all of our social medias. And um, 
We will see you guys in the next video. Say bye. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Blood and kiss.